All right, so it's a play that deals with uh, murder. Uh, it deals with uh, bickering and, and uh, wealth and things like that. Dial M for Murder, the old Hitchcock film, is coming to the Shreveport Little Theater. Joining me this morning is, you know, this familiar face, Stephen Parr, one of the actors in the play, and Katie Bickham, an actress in the play. Thank you so much for joining us. This is very interesting. I had a chance to read a little bit of the summary about it. And so there's an ex-tennis star in this play. Yes. So tell me, that's you. That's me. Oh, yeah, I'm playing, okay. I'm playing the ex-tennis okay. star. <laughs> and uh, then this is, would be playing my wife. Katie's playing my wife. And uh, You're trying to kill her or? What? Well, <laughs> I, have her dead? I wouldn't do uh, right. such a thing. Right, I would her. That's made in heaven. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, yes. Yeah, so there is a, there is a, a murderous plot okay. involved. Um, but uh, part of the fun of the play is all the different things that that go into that plot, mm -hmm. and when that plot doesn't quite go right, what then happens? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So, are we going to find out what happens now, or do we have to come to the play? Ma'am, I would never. <laughs> no. Okay. We'll just say that the the plan for the perfect murder goes awry. There is no perfect murder. Okay. So um, that's all you're getting. <laughs> yeah. So this is a play that's for adults, I assume, because there is an affair in this play, right? Um, all of the affair, the affair happens mostly off stage. So okay. I think you're okay to bring yeah. the tweens and up, I would say, don't you think? Yeah, I would, I would think so. I mean, obviously, you know, there is Mm -hmm. um, some a, a little violence here and there, but but yes, as she's talking about the the affair -esque stuff happens off stage, mm -hmm. so it's more alluded to than much of anything else. Yeah, that leads to the plot, I guess. Sure. Yes, ma'am. You'll have to just come out. So, Stephen, tell us how you got involved with Treeport Little Theater after meteorology here. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I I started doing uh, some plays last year. I did Fiddler on the Roof down in uh, Grand Canyon, the Back Alley Theater down there. Got to do a play with my daughter, who is fabulous. She's currently, by the way, Snow White at Pipsy right okay, now. Yes, Snow yes. White, so uh, she's doing great there. But uh, after that, Mary Joris, who's the director for this play, just mm -hmm. called me up out of the blue. I didn't know Mary before this play. Mm -hmm. She said, hey, would you come do the play? And I, I was like, oh, I'll come read for it. And as I was reading, I met Katie, and I went, "Well, yes, I'll of do the play." Of course, we must. That's awesome, <laughs> Katie. Why, you know, why are the why is the theater important to Shreveport Arts? Oh, I mean, Shreveport is fully, in my opinion, an arts community. Mm -hmm. And I think when we say arts community, we usually imagine, you know, painting, and we imagine art on a wall, right. and, and for sure, we're stacked uh, in in that genre as well. But. Uh, we have a rich history of, of music and writing and all of these things, and theater is a part of that, and especially the little theater with its right. amazing history. We want to keep that vibrant and keep that going. It is amazing. Anything else you want to add, Stephen? Uh, this is a, a fun play. I mean, it really is. There's a lot of uh, in, enjoyment out of it, and it's, um, it's that Hitchcock film. Hitchcock, right. that Dial In For Murder, is one of the top 200 best-ranked films on IMDb of all time. This is the same story. Uh, this is the script that, that that film was based on. This is right down my alley because I love uh, ID channel and yes. all of that. So uh, make sure you come out. We do have uh, the times and the dates listed. Dial M for Murder at the Shreveport Little Theater. It starts this weekend, yep. Yep. February Friday 23rd night. and 24th at 7.30 p.m. And then you can catch uh, Sunday. Is that Sunday on the 25th at 2 p.m.? Yep. And then March 1st and 2nd, 7.30 p.m. And then March 2nd and 3rd. You can catch it again at 2 p.m. So definitely come out and support our theater, our local theater. Back in a moment.